Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the UEFA Euro 2008 game. And today we're going to be doing a qualifying run with the nation of Poland. So at the time of this game's release, Poland actually had never qualified for the Euros before. Obviously, they did in 2012 because they were the hosts. And I'm fairly sure they were in 20, Euro 2016 as well and 2020. So yes, they started to get better. It seems like Poland here in 2008 weren't really the best sort of sides. Defensively, 69 rated. Midfield, 73 rated. And attack, 74 rated. Basically a bang average team. But we're going to see if we can qualify with them here today. So these are the actual groups, of course, as you guys all know. So we need to randomize it before we do this qualifying run so in three two one boom and we are in a group with belgium italy luxembourg hungary finland and albania you know what that's not actually that bad we avoided a lot of the bigger teams apart from italy and um yeah i think that we have a very good case of getting out the group of course we've got a lot of teams that are the same rating as us like belgium hungary finland as well um, albania could be a sneaky little team as well but after my run with romania uh earlier in the timeline i think that i could potentially do something special with poland all right then let's have a look at the squad for poland before we start this one now there's a few players that i recognize on this one of course we got a uh, borak in goal and he's a bronze rated keeper that's so that's pretty good 83 rated um of course that'll probably go down as the qualification carries on we got Lewandowski, but the other Lewandowski, not Robert Lewandowski. We have Blasizowski here, who is 75 rated on this game. We got Ibi Smolarek up top. So he's actually quite a recognisable name. I do re remember him when he used to be up top for Poland. We also have Yalen as well, who um, is a quite a decent striker as well you know he's on the 2010 world cup game and he can be a decent striker if you use him right of course on this game it might be a bit different we have fabianski there as well in um the goalkeeping reserves and jersey dudek as well which is awesome so that means we have three pretty decent goalkeepers for this run just in case uh, do we have Lewandowski? we have peace check here is that yeah lucas peace check I'm fairly sure that's the right one, right? He's a striker on this game for some reason. Unless I'm wrong, can someone correct me in the comments if I am? Thomas Kuczak as well. That's crazy that he's down at the bottom here. But no Robert Lewandowski, I'm afraid. No, a little bit too early for Robert Lewandowski. Here we go then. First match for Poland is going to be against Albania. It's interesting to note as well that before I came into this match, I saw that Poland actually have their licensed kits on this game, which is cool. It's always nice to have a nation with licensed kits on here. I know Albania already do. And we've already used Albania as well. They are in the playlist if you are interested. Here comes this dude who I can't pronounce his name. Crossed in. Header and it's gone in. And that's Ibi Smolarek with the goal. Obviously we all know that he's a very good striker. And he's just netted here for Poland to make it 1-0 against Albania. Lovely, brilliant. That's a great start and what a great play. I was expecting to be a little bit rusty at the start of this uh, gameplay, considering that, you know, since my last run on this game, it's been about a month. So, yeah, starting out that early is very impressive. Poland have not qualified for Euro 2024 yet, but I believe they are in the playoffs. So we'll see how they get on in the playoffs. I mean, it would be cool if Poland can make it. But their record in Euro and stuff like that is only really group stages, I believe. I'm fairly sure like Poland have just like been dumped out of group stages so many times. Of course, the World Cup, uh, the recent World Cup in Qatar, they got to... Oh, that's just gone in! That's just gone in! Skella has just scored from outside the box. Our keeper couldn't keep it out. Bearing in mind, this is Arta Borak as well. He couldn't keep that one out. And that is 1-1. Albania have equalised. Well, I said I had a good start to this run. 
And then I jinxed it, and now I'm back at all square. Cross that in. And on, oh, lucky. I thought that I was able to head that in, but no. It's lucky that we have Smolarek. Uh, I can't even say his name quickly. Smolarek up top to get the goals for us. We're lucky to have him because, you know, he's such a decent striker. It's just that I need to use him in the right way. Going to be half time. It's 1-1. Not ideal, but there's still 45 minutes to play. Go on through ball. Yes, Smolarek. He's going through. This has to be a goal. No! Oh, that finishing was awful. What am I doing? Oh, that was so terrible. I thought I could just sneak it into the bottom corner. No. Good ball by um, Smolarek. And into the middle. And yes! Smolarek has scored again to make it two goals to one against Albania. Great distribution there from Smolarek and the other player as well going in there. The cap I think it was the captain. Is he the captain that was running in there? But um, yeah, great pass. And uh, I think it was Sawoski, or however you say it. I'm not very good with my Polish names or any kind of pronunciation of foreign names, to be honest. And that is 2-1. So yeah, I do, I do apologise, but it's 2-1. So yeah, let's be happy. Lewandowski, oh good save. It was a decent shot as well. And, um, well, Albania 2-1 down here. This could be a good victory for us if we hold on. Smolarek doesn't get the head on it. Hang on, though. Oh, that almost went in. Imagine getting a hat-trick with um, Ibi at the start of the campaign. And that is going to be a 2-1 win for Poland. We had to grind, but still, it's a victory. And we started off in the right way. Our next match is going to be against Finland away from home. So what can Poland do away from home, even though the stadium looks exactly the same? Let's see if we can grab another win against a qualifying opponent and keep going in this one. It's going to be quite tough though, because Finland are the same rating as Poland. And we're going to start playing teams like Hungary, Finland and Belgium, who are practically the same rating as us. And we might get a few losses or a few draws. Molarek running. And what's that going to be? Is that going to be... Oh, it's a free kick on the edge of the box. Okay, I'll give it a go. Why not? Um, Smolarek. Oh, that was very close. I didn't think that um, I was going to get a free kick for that. I thought it was an actual foul for Finland. It's been an extremely awkward game. One where we can't really go for on goal. Finland have kind of tested us, but... Not as much as we've tested Finland. And um, we're approaching half time. It's going to be probably still nil nil by the time we get there. Here we go. Finland crossed in. And okay, a weak attempt again. Again, it's just like just trying to find our way through. We did so well against Albania, but now we've just kind of dropped off a little bit against Finland. Finland have. Being able to do what they want at times on the ball. Poland's um, defence really not um, doing an awful lot to stop any of this happening. But hang on, here comes this dude. Oh, Jaskalainen and saves. Could have broken the deadlock there with that chance. It was a rare chance, really. Cross that in. No, that's never going to go anywhere. It's terrible by Poland here. Absolutely awful sort of attacking. That was not a good game. We had Finland on the ropes and we could not finish our chances. Not good enough, Poland. You know, these are the type of opposition we need to beat. Here we go then. Third match of the group. We're against Belgium, who are currently sat top of the group. But that's because they played Luxembourg and Albania. They have to play us next. So how will they fare against us? Hopefully we can get a decent win against them. Here comes Gore. He crosses it in. That might be a goal. Oh, good save. What a save by Borak in goal. He's going here. He's in the box. Crossed in. Oh, got it back again. Into the box. Shot. Oh, good save that time. Couldn't get the rebound though. I don't know why it didn't let me get Smolarek on to the end of that. Gore to cross it in. And, well, that was lucky that it didn't actually fall to the feet of Dembele. Half time, nil nil. Again, we just can't break through these defences. I thought Poland were better than this, but 
I don't know, maybe their actual rating is starting to come through. I think I got a little bit too excited because I beat Albania and Sm Smolarek was actually like playing well, but last two matches he's blanked and it's just not great at the moment. Blatis Zizovsky to cross it in. Header. Oh, just wide. I thought that might have nestled in the top corner, but no. He's actually doing all right. Come on, keep going. Yes, that was a hell of a run by Smolarek. And that is 1-0. I still can't say his name right. And he scores in the 59th minute to make it 1-0 to Poland. Come on. Come on. He lost it just here. And then he retrieved it. And then I just able to sneak it in at the back post there. It's the kind of victory we really need here against Belgium. Oh, good control and a great finish by none other than Smolarek. Great stuff. That's 2-0. He's come up clutch in this one. Blanked against Finland, but here against Belgium. That was so good. I was tempted to header it, but I was like, no, control it and see what happens. And he finished it really nicely. Really, really nice control. That was great challenging there and Smolarek he's got his hat trick against Belgium wow this is incredible and this guy could be the catalyst for qualification he absolutely could look he just scored from this angle casual as you like I don't usually do that like 3-0 against Belgium and that is going to be it Belgium have been beaten by Poland by Three goals to nil. Poland, man. That was so good in that match. Like, in the first half, I criticised them for not being able to get past Belgium's defence. And then they woke up. The half-time team talk obviously helped. And, yeah, we were just fantastic in the second half. And that's what I want to see from Poland more. Especially against these types of teams. I'm actually more worried about the minnows in these qualifying campaigns. So, we still have Luxembourg to play in this campaign and um you know i reckon they're the team that will probably beat me because that's usually what happens on this game so next match is against the big boy of the group against italy how will poland fare against italy i'm hoping for a shock win for poland well it won't be too much of a shock but still you know we need to beat italy and um retain our position at the top of the table alongside belgium through ball, here we go. This could be a chance. Blasis Zizovsky gets his attempt saved and um, it's cleared by Italy. Parotta for the Italians. And that was a good save as well from our keeper at the other end. Uh oh, Italy are pressing Zambrotta and it's cut out by Poland. It's going to be a corner to Italy. Come on, don't fold. We need to keep going in this campaign. If we can get a win here, that would be absolutely massive for Poland's chances. Although there's still a long way to go. I have literally no room to move in this uh, game at the moment. You know, Zambrotta or Perlo or um, De Rossi will just shut me down as soon as I enter that midfield kind of area. We go into half time and it is still nil-nil. Good from Poland's perspective, but I wouldn't mind getting a goal in this match. We have looked like we could. Go on, keep going. Keep going. Oh, good save. Smolarek, yes! He scores again. And that is 1-0 to Poland. Break out the robot for that one. The longest celebration in the game. I remember when I used to play online. And I used to do the celebration against people. Used to make people instantly rage quit. Great goal by Poland, really well worked. I know it was a little bit of a deflection goal because Buffon palmed it into the path of Smolarek, but you know what, I'll take it, it's 1-0. And it's not like Poland haven't really deserved it because we have been pressing Italy, but we just haven't been able to get the shots off. Crossed in, oh, that's a good ball by Italy. That's an outrageous ball and what a save! How did he save that? He didn't even do an animation. He just stood there. We've only got about nine minutes to play. Italy have to find something to rescue this game. Otherwise, they're going to drop points and fall behind the rest of the group. I know it's still early days and they can still catch everybody up with good results. And I'm sure they will. But, you know, 
<laughs> this would be huge for Poland. Once we boot this away, it'll pretty much be game over. And um, Italy will be dropping this game against Poland. And what a result that is for Poland. Only a 1-0, but I will take that. Absolutely take that. Poland still unbeaten in this qualifying campaign. Our next match is going to be at home and we're against Hungary. So yeah, a team that are only rated surprisingly on this game two and a half stars. Can you believe that? Two and a half stars on this game. I mean, I don't know how good Hungary were back in 2008, but obviously not that brilliant. Hungary these days are way better. Hopefully Poland can beat Hungary here and continue this fine run of form that we're in. You know, I was a little bit too harsh and too overcritical of Poland in the Finland game. Um, we've definitely bounced back strong. I'm fairly sure this goalkeeper for Hungary, didn't he used to play for, was it Fulham? Fulop used to play, Fulop or whatever his name is. I'm fairly sure he used to play for Fulham. A lot of these sort of like players, like... I'm fairly sure Gera used to play for Fulham as well, because I'm fairly sure he was instrumental for that Europa League run uh, in 20... Oh, I can't remember when it was. 2011? Or 2010? I can't remember. But, yeah, Fulham getting to the Europa League final. I remember that when they beat Juve, like, 4-1 or whatever on, on uh, aggregate. This is the kind of game that we drop, I reckon, because we've had tons of shots, but we just can't finish our chances off. It's half time, and despite all the chances Poland have had, it's still nil-nil. I have confidence that we could break through eventually in the second half, but Hungary have really been so good defensively. This game's been quite a frustrating game now. Like we can't really seem to hold on to the ball. Hungary have been really kind of coming back into the game now after getting dominated in the first half. You know, a point's fine, but the fact that we had so many shots in the first half against this team and we can't seem to beat them is just... I don't know, it's weird. It's very weird. Nil-nil and loads of wasted chances there by Poland. Again, another match that makes me kind of question them. It's still a good point, don't get me wrong. I'm not super mad about it. But the fact that we had such a dominant first half and then just completely went quiet in the second, it's a bit weird. Okay, guys, this is the match that makes me the most worried. We're against Domino Luxembourg. You know, most of you that have been following these Euro 2008 videos and stuff know that I always struggle against the smaller teams. And that's not because I'm rubbish at the game. Well, I don't think so anyway. <laughs> well, you can make your own decision about that. But it's because for some reason the Minnows just always overperform. Always. This dude's going forward. Is there a chance? Why did he slow down there? I went to shoot and he just slowed down completely. These minnows, man, honestly, they're just so irritating. Because you just know that they're bad, but they just play like a decent team. This match has been so dead at the moment. Nothing has happened in these first 38 minutes. Half time, nil nil. <laughs> these minnows, dude, honestly, they're just so annoying, but... They got to live with it. I mean, just to back up my point, San Marino are beating Romania 1-0. Faroe Islands are drawing against Bulgaria 1-1. These minnows, man. These minnows. They're so annoying. <laughs> I mean, fair play to Luxembourg, but at the same time, I really cannot, like, drop this game. Otherwise, I'm just going to start to fall behind. Crossed in. Hey, there we go. Smolarek has scored a header. And that is 1-0. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. He scores. And this could be our biggest result. I'm not even kidding. Because these minnows are so annoying, man. One through ball there. Turn round. Just cross it into the box. Hoping for the best. And it went in. Lovely. Brilliant stuff from Smolarek. Crossed in. And off the post. But it's gone in. An own goal from Luxembourg. That's so... Unfortunate. I feel sorry for him for that. I didn't want them to score an own goal. Um, you know, I wanted to get the actual shot off and actually score. He's got it here. It's blocked. Still got it. That's a third. And we've dispatched of Luxembourg comfortably here. It's 3-0. And it's that man again. 
Smolarek. Absolute legend. Once this is booted away, it's going to be game over. And Poland take the three points here. It was frustrating at the start, but we got the job done in the end. 3-0. And this time, finally... The minnow actually doesn't beat me this time. So I've broken the curse for now. That's good. <laughs> and we're at the halfway point in the campaign. Let's go and check out the groups. Okay then. So before we check out our group, let's just uh, have a look at it in order. So Spain are top in this group A and Portugal just behind them. Greece just behind uh, Portugal as well. It's very close between Spain and down to Northern Ireland. Only about six points in it. Armenia, Latvia and San Marino have no chance at all i think they're just the whipping boys in this group in group b we have france and sweden neck and neck on this group with 16 points each then scotland are just behind sweden six points behind them the Faroe islands are doing really well although i don't think they'll um, catch up sweden Czech Republic, Bulgaria and Georgia are just behind the Faroe Islands. It's quite close between those four teams. But I still believe that these four teams will not make it. In Group C, Croatia are top of that one. Just followed by Iceland. Then just behind them are Lithuania, Norway, Malta, Israel and Azerbaijan. All those teams there have a good chance of stealing second place. I guess Lithuania, Iceland and Croatia could be battling out for first place. But it's really all about the two top uh, positions really in that one. But again, it's still pretty close. In Group D, Germany are top of that one with 15 points. Moldova somehow in second place. Denmark just behind them and Macedonia as well. Slovakia not that far behind either. Liechtenstein as well. Cyprus a little bit too far behind, but you never know. They could mount a significant sort of push if they wanted to. Um, in Group E, Russia are top of that one with 15 points as well. Then we have Turkey just behind them by three points with 12. And Wales are just behind Turkey, just three points behind them. Bosnia, Kazakhstan, Estonia and Andorra are within touching distance of third. And in our group, Poland are top of this one with 14 points. And we've done really well here in this group so far. If we can replicate that performance in the next video, then we'll definitely qualify. Finland are just behind us, four points behind us. And Hungary here as well have nine points. Italy slightly behind, but they're not out of it, as are Belgium as well. You could make the case that Albania have an outside chance as well, a very outside chance. But Luxembourg definitely not in it in this one. And in the final group, we have the Netherlands top of that one. Republic of Ireland just behind them with 12 points. Then you have England in third just behind them. It's quite close. And then Ukraine and Serbia just on the outskirts as Slovenia as well. But Belarus definitely out of it. There's no way Belarus are going to qualify. So anyway guys that has been your first part of your Poland Euro 2008 qualifying video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always and I'll see you again for the next video.